Welcome. All right, boys. It is time for the uh, the draft, the All Star break, and the trade deadline. So we have a very busy stream tonight. There won't be a ton of gameplay. We'll probably just do player locks. Maybe one player lock with a starting pitcher. I'm not going to play more than one full game because we have so much shit going on. Nolan Gorman's probably going to be in the home run derby. We have the draft. And depending on how our young pitchers do now that Walker Buehler's out until September, um, if they don't cut it in the next 23 games, we have some, some trades that I've uh, scouted out and lined up, and they are some doozies. So we will uh, see how that goes. What's up, franchise? Yeah, this team... So you can see right there, we're third ranked. I don't know why we're ranked three. Because uh, we're percentage points behind the Dodgers. And uh, a game ahead of the Rangers. I'll have the Rangers as first, probably because they're pitching. Um, has us third. It's Dodgers fourth. Who's second? Who's second? The Braves, really? The 47 and 39, they're second. Okay. I don't think so. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, we have a little bit of uh, simming to do before we get to the draft. We have one more week of scouting. Um, Stat-wise, you can see Nolan Gorman hitting 318. He already has 27 home runs through June. 74 ribs. Jordan Walker, 70 ribs. Naylor has 19 home runs. Pitching-wise, though, they're all disappointing right now, except for Bueller, who is hurt and out for two to three months. Torn groin, out two to three months. Now, Tanner Bybee had an ERA at 12 at one point in April, so he's bounced back, but he's had a couple of rough starts his last two. Valdez had a rough start. Painter's been pitching like shit, even though he's got 12 more strikeouts than he's pitched. These two rookies are, have been bouncing around in that five spot, and now they're going to be pitching in four and five. So if these three can't figure it out, we're going to make two huge trades for starting pitchers, and both guys are pending free agents. Lolo, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Um, I have two... Guys that are going to be free agents that we can get. We'll have to trade some prospects off, but we would most likely let them go be free agents and come back the next season with our young pitchers. But I'm not going to lose a World Series chance because we got some baby back young guys that can't get the job done. So um, that's what we're going to do if they can't turn shit around this month. Um, um, I've looked at closers as well, because while Romano was doing better earlier in the season, he's, uh, regressing right now and his ERA jumped over four. So, um, so I've looked at a couple of, as you can see, our other relievers are doing great outside of Mason Miller, Zach Thompson, looking Matt Suey, who we traded for in the off season has just been lights out. So, um, but anyway, I have... Two trades for starting pitchers lined up. I have some other trades that are organizational depth where we're shifting players. We're trading away this position, this position, get this guy in another position. Um, I'm going to work on our younger bullpen guys and get them a little bit, uh, our lower bullpen guys, get them younger and better. Um, and... Uh, we may, we might ship out a catcher. We have three three MLB caliber catchers right now. Um, Herrera's out of options. Davis is uh, almost out of options, and he needs to come back up and play. He's actually our highest rated catcher. Contreras is uh, regressing, he's starting to regress heavily, and he's got seventeen and a half million left next year. Spacta, welcome in. So we, we may do some work on uh, the roster as we try to win. Um, if we look at the budget, 
you see we still have 40 million available um but if you look over here Arenado's deals coming off the books Contreras two years Valdez two years Naylor two years Beeler two years Matsui Rangifo Romano Newt Bar's a free agent after this year Sandlin's only got two Donovan's a free agent at the end of the year Gorman only has two years left Cano two Burleson two Herrera two so you know you can see right there it goes from 158 to 119 to 39 so <laughs> um this team is ready to win right now so we are uh we're gonna try to make that happen but first things first we have to get to the draft which will be right here on the 10th against after we play this game with miami we will have somebody in the home run derby because nolan gorman's killing it so he'll at least he'll be in the home run derby we never play the all-star game i don't care about the all-star game especially since they don't let them wear their own uniforms like that um, and then we'll have to start signing our draft picks through here as we finish off this month. Um, we have six division games this month. Very light schedule for this month for division. Um, Pirates are five and a half back. Brewers, Reds, and Cubs are trailing. So I'm not too worried about the division right now. Unless our young pitchers shit the bed. So once we get to the all-star break, um, we'll uh, have a little bit better idea. I mean, Painter's going to pitch here, Cutliff, Painter, Cutliff, Tink. So that would be Painter and Cutliff. So Tink, Painter, and Cutliff are going to go here. So Cutliff and Painter are going to get two starts, and Tink's going to get one before the break. Although, actually, he could get, I think Tink will get one here. So all three of those guys are going to get two starts before the break. And then once we get out of the break, we'll have to see how it goes. Looks like they'll have one, two, two starts. So these guys are going to have four starts this month. Those three pitchers are getting four starts this month. And if they can't do it by the end of this stream, we will have uh, some new, new, new players on the roster. Um, In fact, we'll, we'll go through the 1st of August because that'll let us see our draft picks. Um, so, yeah, that's where we are. So, let's get in here and uh, sim these three games here so we can look at uh, the draft picks. I have a list written down of guys I'm interested in. Um, and in order to get some of these... Major League caliber starting pitchers, we're going to have to give up some pitching, young pitching, and I'm not too worried about giving up too much young pitching because we're going to get more in the draft every damn year. So um, we're in win-now mode, so we'll deal with down the road, down the road. So without further ado, let's go. Quit talking and start doing, Vaughn. <laughs> All right, here we go. Andrew Painter. And we get a 5-1 to one win. We needed that. One run in six innings. Gotta love that. Got that ERA under six for a change. All right. At Frisco, Cutliff. Thank you for the resub. Appreciate that. Cutliff, let's go. And we get a three to two win. Josh Naylor and Contreras with home runs. Cutliff bounces back. He's five and five now. All right. So if these guys can do it, we'll stay with them. But if they're going to give me trouble at all, I've got some. Some guys in the uh, mid '80s that we can bring in pretty pretty easily. Uh, the two starting pitchers I'm looking at are both free agents, so we'll we'll just let them go. I mean, we I guess we could offer them a qualifying offer for one year, and um, but then if they take it, we could trade them. You know, kind of a sign and trade type thing. Yeah. Which, which is a must. All right. Don't know who Joe Whitman is. Looks like he's a rookie against Fromber Valdez. Let's go look at this. Who is this guy? And he kind of looks like Tink, but he's lefty. It's his major league debut. Joe Whitman. Fifth player in rotation. I'm uh, right now. This is what's going on. These guys are. Pretty solid. Painter has been pitching like garbage. B 
Bueller's out. He's out two to three months. So we may not get him back till September. He was pitching great. Um, so that's where that's why we're having so much trouble. And then we've been flipping Cutliff and Hints at the five spot. And, you know, they pitch well, and then they pitch like shit, and we send them down, bring the other one up, and he'll pitch well, and then he'll pitch like shit, and we'll send them down. They both tear up AAA. So they don't they don't need to be in AAA, but they need to pitch better in the sim because we pitch great with both of them, but in the sim, they're they're just killing us. So um, I don't want to lose out on a, a World Series chance because I'm having these guys... Once we get to the playoffs... Um, there's no simming. We play every game. Bullpen, we got JoJo, Matsui. Those are two big lefties. Sandlin, Cano, Mason Miller, Barlow's in the minors, Perez in the minors, Zach Thompson's a long reliever, and then Romano's our closer. Um, our pitching is, last month our pitching was terrible. It just, so I have some stuff. I have trades written down right here that we can do. So we'll just get through this month and see how it goes. But um, I have three pitchers in mind that are on expiring contracts that we can get. Well, we did that with Mason Miller. After we had an injury, I flipped him and put him in, and he didn't pitch very well. So they just – I don't want to jack up the entire pitching staff. We'll just deal with the starters. So here we go. Major League debut for Joe Whitman, and uh, we'll just sim. And Yenier Cano broke his hand. So one of our better relievers is going to be out one to two months. All right. Well, we have Joe Barlow. We can call up for that, so we're covered. Um, Gorman hit his 28th home run. Walker and Herrera hit home runs. Valdez did not pitch well. Romano gave up two runs in the ninth, but we still got the win. So, yeah, okay. Let's... Uh, Let's bring Barlow up to the majors. I'm gonna shift somebody else to Triple A. And uh, you go to double A. All right, Barlow stops in there. Barlow's done decent for us since we got him. Not great, but not bad. Um, and now let's go look at our scouting. So looking at this closer, we have, let me show you what we got. We have pick 28 and 31 because Andrew Painter won rookie of the year. So I'm strongly considering taking a closer if there's a good closer sitting there at 28 or 31. If there's multiple closers, we'll take one at 31. But if they're getting picked over, we'll possibly probably take one at 28 right so this guy does everything great his pitch control is a little off but um so i would look to take a closer and then follow that up with a starter or a position player that's maybe we discover one um this guy becky's decent hitter he's just probably not going to have very high potential he's a chance to be a bust but we'll see how he ranks out especially since he dropped to 41 so we're just looking right now for somebody to take it 31 <clears throat> all right so i'm gonna leave those two alone and we are gonna edit this to you know what? let's go back to starting pitcher and go international we'll just go back there all right, so where are we at? We have a six and a half game lead. Dodgers, we are at 626 now, so they're 4-2, so they're, they're three games behind us. We have the best record in baseball, boys. <laughs> best record in baseball, and Gorman has 28 home runs. Naylor has 20. Yeah, Cano was the, not doing poorly. He was our ground ball reliever. Um, let me save this before we lose any progress. 
um, we're going to do a lot of simming this month. We may do some player locks, but we got a lot of housekeeping stuff with the draft and the home run derby and the trade deadline. It's going to eat up a lot of time. So <clears throat> we'll see what happens here. But All right. Bybee and Logan Webb. We got a week to go. Um, you know what? Let's Let's actually do a player lock game right now. So we get some sort of, uh, let's see, who do we want to do this right-hand pitcher? Let's do Josh. Let's do Josh Taylor. I was looking at other right fielders or even left fielders that we could get. Um... If we don't bring back Newt Bar or Donovan, um, we're going to need left and right field. We could move Walker back to outfield from DH. Um, Stephen Kwan is going to be a free agent, so we could always get him to replace Donovan, same type of player. Um, and he could play left, leave Edmund in center, could put Walker in right. Um, Gorman could move to third, so JC could play second, and we're good. We'll just need a DH, and we could see what the best hitter is in the market. So, all right, we're going for. Hold on a sec. I got the I got the sound of my capture card muted. Otherwise, it plays all the time when I'm uh, not streaming. Here we go. All right, we'll have sound now. Just about to get underway, and on the mound today, a guy who will give them... All right, Naylor, so the man on second. This clutch of 97 kicks in here, so we need to be patient. ...in this case, not allowing too many base runners. So, on most days, he's going to go out there and compete and put his team in a position to win, and I expect to see that from him in this one today. Man at second. And he's going to third, and he's going to be safe. Safe at third. Up on the All right. Run around at third, one gone. Let's gotta get this ball. Ah, don't strike out. You cannot strike out. Well, he's realizing out there on the mound that he's got to settle in pretty quickly, or else he's going to get hit hard in this first inning. That one just misses, and the count is even two and two. It's a good take. Ground ball will get the run home, especially up the middle. Fly ball will get him home. Three and two. This guy doesn't throw hard. Everything's down. So uh, hopefully we can get this ball, put it in play. That'll get us a run home. Solaire doesn't have a good arm. Go. Solaire would be somebody that I would be interested in at DH to replace Arnado's bat. I'm not opposed to bringing Arnado back next year, much cheaper. I'd probably just let him go to free agency and try and get him cheap then. Not try and sign him. Before he becomes a free agent. One tie. Tied up here in the early going. Let's go. Naylor had at least a what, 15 game hit streak going on last stream. I don't know what he's what he's doing now. Let's go. Come on. It's just battle. Slow ass shit. Good job to fight that one off. Get out of play. Let's go. Here comes the pitch. Ah, son of a bitch. Tried to hold up. That's a shame. All right, new bar. Two run double gives us the lead. See if we can get a better pitch to hit. Oh, topped it. 
And that's going to be a double play. All right, still up three to one. At least we got a different pitcher now. He throws a little bit harder. It's good. You know, these Cardinals digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've heard lots of loud noise coming ah. from their bats in this one. It's late I mean, under it. Six hits I did play some uh, MLB before I went live, so. All right, we're going to bat again. This will help because it's against the lefty. We got a man in scoring position. That one finds the zone. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Up and in. Throw me a fastball right here. Let's go. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Right here. Let's go. Feeling a granny. Can we get one? Nope, it won't get a two-run single. I'll take that. Six to one. Let's go, Nolan. All right, got the dub. No home runs. Bybee gets the win. Love it. 11 and 2. Sandlin with the uh, save. Barlow gave up a run in his only inning. So get the uh, sweep of the Giants, which is good because uh, they have a player I'm interested in. All right, the Chubbs. Two dead Mike headsets. My goodness, that's not good, Specta. Not good at all. All right. I really want to get to the draft. Let's sim. I'm really interested in how Tink does in the sim. Look at that. Home run by Gorman. Home run by Wynn. Eight shutout innings for Tink. There we go. These guys do not want me to make trades. <laughs> they do not want me to make these trades. I, they, uh, they, they are seeing the names on this list, and they're like, "No, no, man, we don't want any any part of going back to AAA, man." <laughs> All right, Painter and Steel. Let's see if Painter can keep it going. No, lost seven to four. Gave up three home runs. Walker with a homer. God damn, Painter's ERA is six. I I might have to trade for at least one of these guys. I'm telling you, I'm not fucking around this year. I want to win a World Series, so All right. we're going to uh, player lock on another hitter. Todd is right-handed. Let's do Jordan Walker. Walker hits right. He's pretty good, so we'll do Walker. Oh, man. <laughs> What's up, man cave? Missouri MLB the show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the St. Louis. Dude, we've got the draft coming up at the end of this week. We've got at least Nolan Gorman in the home run derby. And we may have a very, very active trade deadline depending on how these young guys sim this month. So I have an extensive trade list written down. And I also have the option to sign Casey Mize as a free agent. He's been sitting out there the whole fucking year as a 79 overall. All right, Gorman, that's his 30th home run. We're up 2-1. to one. Oh, We're down 2-1, to one, I'm sorry. Reading it wrong. So Gorman has 30, rib, 30, 30 home runs, and we're not at the all-star break yet. Yeah, I'm ready to... Uh, Go ham on these trades. I might do them anyway. I seriously might do them anyway. Right field down the line, and that one 
Wait till you see the names on this list. Home team down a run here in the rubber match of this three game series. I'm going to trade for one pitcher for sure. It's will I trade for the other two additionally? Oh, he didn't get that. <laughs> and I have a host of minor trades with minor league players. We're just shifting guys around in our minors. <laughs> so <clears throat> we will see. I gotta I gotta get rid of a catcher. Because uh one of our three guys is out of options and uh, I can't carry three catchers next to him. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm also looking at who we're going to play in the playoffs, and I'm not sure I want to trust it. Even though we're playing the games, I, I don't know that I want to trust it to the young guys. I, I would love to get a uh, World Series victory for Arenado before he leaves. We got to the NLCS, and we're losing 6-1 to one now. I went to the NLCS last year, and uh, I did not play well. So we have some free agent decisions with Donovan and Newt Barr. We've got a host of guys with one more year after this. We're going to have to start paying Gorman and Walker pretty soon as well. So I'm already paying Tommy Edmond 20 mil. But he only has two more after this, so he's not a long-term guy. And we're trying to develop guys in the minors while we're doing it. Just not doing it fast enough. So, And if we keep winning, we're going to be picking at the end of the round. We're never going to get good young hitters. So we're just going to have to draft pitching and trade them for hitters. <clears throat> One down, base is empty. Good plate appearance there. Able take, to take the walk. The walk. Come on, Nolan. Let's get this going. Alright. Victor Scott must be giving somebody a rest today. He does not have power. Bounce to third. They get the force, and that ends the inning. Here at the bottom of the ninth, one out. Six to one. Get two guys on in the ninth. We can make this a close game. First pitch misses. Jordan, yeah, he's got 17 home runs. And 76 RBIs. I think that's what the scoreboard says. So small type. I'm having trouble reading it. Oh, that changeup was deadly. <laughs> I really need the college football game to release the Team Builder site next week. Wife's going to be out of town 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th, so I can get a lot of work done on Team Builder if they can get that shit released next week. Bottom of the order tore us up. Gorman with his 30th. Cutliff. Barlow. Uh. All right. Our pitching has really let us down in the last month plus. They were doing so well, and they're just... Got a newt bar. Pulled a leg muscle. He's out for a few days. At least for in the All-Star break, so he should be back after the break. All right, Aldez and Max Meyer. Bueller's still out. We win a slugfest. Edmund, Sejaci, and Herrera. God, Val Valdez is pitching like shit. All right. Seven-game lead. Three and a half game lead on the Dodgers, so we we are in control of the National League right now, and we have the best record in baseball, and we're struggling. 
Um. All right, we have one more game to play before the All Star break. So, so it won't automatically jump into the All Star break and the uh, I'm sorry, the draft. Not the All Star break, the draft. We're gonna do a player lock in this game. <clears throat> Need a futures game. And we'll do Nolan Gorman this time. <laughs> right. Offense is not our problem. It's 100% pitching. All right. Man on second, two outs. Former Cardinal, Sandy Alcantara. We traded Alcantara and Gallon for Ozuna, and we only kept Ozuna two years, and then he left. We could use Gallon and Alcantara on our staff right now. Uh-oh, is that out of here? Deep, back to the track, to the wall. That bad boy's gone. There we go. <laughs> 31 home runs. With this pitcher's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. You got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot. There it goes. All right, Naylor and Ringifo add two more, so it's four to nothing. Oh, we might go. Deep to left instead. It's gone. That's two and two swings. <laughs> Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. Their lead. It's six nothing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Opposite field. Sliced it right down inside the line and gone. All right, Ringifo Contreras, it's nine to nothing. We're in the third inning. Let's go. We had a game in the sim last stream. We scored 23 runs, and we had 15 runs in the fifth inning. We scored five in the first and gave up seven in the second, and then we scored 15 in the fifth. <laughs> All in the sim. That was the craziest sim game. Don't swing at that. Craziest sim game I've had. All right, that's two home runs. We're in the third. If he hits four, I'll do two double shots. If he hits three, I'll do one double shot. And if he hits four, I'll do two of them. <coughs> Holy shit, it's 14 to nothing in the fourth. <laughs> Win with a two-run homer and daily with a three-run homer. My goodness. I told you, offense is not our problem. What a play. It's 16 to 4. <laughs> All right. He hits one out here. We do a double shot. Party. By not chasing out of the zone, they're getting good pitches to hit. When you can do that, you have a much better chance to square up the baseball and do damage. Man, he has hit the ball hard four times. Sixteen to six is the final. Don't like giving up six runs, but they can't wait for the 
Donovan, Gorman with two, Mason Wynn, Josh Naylor, all with home runs. Gorman has 86 RBIs right now at the all at the uh let's get another game before the all-star break. Bybee gets 12 and 2. Let's look at this futures game. Um, let's quick manage the National League. <clears throat> All right, any of our Cardinals? We've got, we used to have Ragic. No, no Cardinal minor league pitchers, so that's fine. Sabori, this dude's the number one prospect in baseball. We traded with the Angels and got him in the Matsui trade. Anybody else on this team from us? No. It looks like it's our only player. All right. Play ball. All right, here we go. All right, Sparbori, double. Three. Three. He say, ball four, take your base. Three. Now, now pitching for, for the American, American League, League future, future, number 16, 16. Rick, Rick Martin. Martin. Now pitching for the National League future, number 29, Victor Lopez. Now pitching for the American League future, number four, Chase Petty. Now pitching for the American League future, number two, Max Stone. Now pitching for the National League future, number 11, Edgar Moto now, now pitching for, for the American, American League future, number 20, Henry Zapata. Now pitching for the National League future, number one, Derek Denson. Now pitching for the American League future, number 10, Brett Baker. Pinch hitting for the, for the National, National League, League future. future. Number 14, Number 14. Nick, Nick Morabito. Now pitching for the National League future. First base. Number three, Derek. Yeah. Pinch hitting for the American All right, here we go. Solo homer. It's three to one. And we lose. All right. All right. We'll sim and we'll be at the draft. And Newt Bar is back. All right, here we go. Buster Kelly, this dude is fire. Look at this guy. Number one pick in the draft. Number one prospect. Dude is ridiculous. He's like stepping into the rotation ready already. <laughs> we have no chance to get him. There's another closer who's injured. I like that closer. I like that closer. We're going to have to have a little luck to get any hitters fall to us. So we'll just see how it goes. And um, here we go. He said we picked 28 and 31. So most of the good hitters are going to go way before it's our turn. So here we go. It's the start of the draft. <coughs> Let me get my draft list up. Catcher Francisco Moreno. Looks like he's overrated and he's going first overall. Well, the White Sox didn't want that pitcher. Are you kidding me? 
I'd run to the podium to take them. Here, there you go. The Giants knew better. <laughs> How can you pass up a dude that's going to be probably an A potential in the 80s? Right off the rip. You must have terrible scouts. Viegas, second baseman. Not bad. Buster Kelly's gone. Rain's gone. Viegas is gone. Calderon, we didn't scout. Alasco. There's him on there. Didn't have Calderon. I didn't scout him. Gomez. I think I had Gomez. Bradley was on my list. Where is he? Starting pitcher. I thought I had him on the list. Oh, there he is. Nope, that's not him. Where is he? How did I miss him? I know. I, there, all right, this is the guy that we drafted last year, and it stuck him back in the draft and wouldn't let us sign him. So we're going to change his name. So he's on the Cubs. Did I have Davis? I'm sorry. It's Chavis. Yeah, I have Chavis. I wrote down the top guys, even though we had no chance, just in case they somehow slid to us. There's another one. Didn't want to forget about him. Kerr. There's Kerr. Quizada. I didn't add him to my draft board because I knew these guys would be gone before it was our turn. So, Bolden done it now. <clears throat> Salas. <clears throat> Harper. We're running out of hitters. There's Forrest Duffy. <clears throat> Had him fourth on our list. Hoping he would drop. You know, Jose. Don't have him. Gian. Did have Gian just in case he slid. All right, Milwaukee takes Dan Trailer. I don't think I had him on my list anywhere. Nope. <clears throat> Marmalejo. I think I had him written down. Just so I wouldn't forget about him. Yeah, he's probably going to be low B. CEO. Oh, Lacio. Sorry. Alessio. <clears throat> Kang. I was hoping he would drop to us. Because he was old enough that we could maybe slide him into right field next year, but he didn't make it. Did I even have Mills? No, I didn't have Mills. De La Cruz did not have. Lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Crosby, I was hoping he might slide to us. Be nice to get young catcher. Missed it by two spots. Cologne. No, I didn't have Cologne. All right, our pick. So, got our choice on closers. We got three of them. We got a starting pitcher. We got a bunch of starting pitchers. And this right fielder is probably going to be a C potential, so we're not going to draft him. He'll probably be a C potential. So, yeah, these guys are for later. All right. So, <clears throat> we got 
two picks before we pick. So we have our choice. This guy wasn't injured. <coughs> I had him one. If he wasn't injured, I don't want to chance it. He's only one off from taking this guy. And two off on that guy. So let's look at Minoso and Ludwig. So Ludwig has great strikeouts. Really good home runs and pitch velocity. He's got great hits per nine. He's got fastball, curveball, sinker. Fastball, curveball, slider, change. He's got a better mix. He's 21 and he's 19, and they're only separated by basically one point. Um, I think I'm going to take the younger dude. That gives us two more years. And he's got more pitches. So we're going to take Drew Ludwig. This was our, our goal. We're gonna, we saw all those closers, and I'm like, I got two picks close together. And fucking earbud just popped out of my ear. Give me a second. Um, so let me take this picture. Start that again. All right. So, so that'll give us a good young closer that we can develop. And now we can look for a starting pitcher next pick because we're going to trade some young pitchers away. Um, we're going to trade some young pitchers away here at the end of the month. So, yeah, this guy just has pop against lefties. That's it. And they took Givens, who we had written down, but it was like a not a first round pick. All right. <clears throat> I could double up on closers and we can get some two good relievers. That's that's a possibility. Let's look at starting pitchers. Hits per nine, strikeouts, home runs, pitch, they're all low. Um another one is per nines are low. Is Crespo on my list? Crespo's the best so far. Yeah, all that red. All right, so when you guys help me out here, we have a choice. We can take Armando Crespo, 18-year-old right-hand pitcher, four-seam change-up splitter, I like splitter, slider, two-seam. Guy throws hard. Got good stamina, strikeouts per nine is only is only weak spot if you want to call it that. Well, we can go take this guy and snag two young closers. And depending on what their um depending on what their clutch is, one could be a closer and one could be a setup guy. So I got two and a half minutes to make this pick, guys. So what do you guys want? Should I take the second closer, so we load up on, on young youth guys in our bullpen. Or take Crespo. Because this guy looks pretty good. 6'3", 228. Dude's almost as big as I am. Great pitch mix, too. He won't be there when we pick again at 66, I'm sure. He won't be either. So whoever we take, the other one's not going to be there. Yeah, well... I'm going to trade starting pitching away at the end of the month. So this is probably the smart choice. I do like his mix, so we'll take this guy. <clears throat> great, great size, too. So Crespo. So we got a closer and we got a starting pitcher. And then Minoso went the very next pick. So there you go. See how how long it takes for... Yeah. 
Did I have Sherry on here? No. Bearden. There's a straight reliever. I, did, I didn't look at straight relievers. So. There's not a lot of hitters left. <clears throat> There's a couple of guys I would take, but we'll we'll just have to wait and see. Fiorentino, was he on my list? No. Closer, no. Herrera, so all these closers are just going. Burris, no. See who the A's take. It'll pop onto this page and we'll go back. And he took one of the remaining closers. So Wolf is still out there. At this point, if Wolf is there at 66, oh, there he goes. Never mind. I was going to say, if he's still there at the end of this round, I'll go ahead and take him. Here's the top relay. I would have taken him over the, either of the other two, but he's injured. So he had no weaknesses other than he's injured, and I don't know how bad he's going to be hurt. So that's why I didn't take him with that other pick. So we got a few starting pitchers on our list and a few outfielders, it looks like. That was one of our pitchers. There's one of the few remaining hitters. No. I only put this guy in the list because he had good hitting numbers. He wasn't ranked, and I'm like, eh. If, if he slides, we could take a chance on him, but as you can see. I had a couple of these relievers written down just in case. This guy is phenomenal. Look how look at his velocity, man. Bertram Garriger. Garinger. It's so Hannah is not on the list. All glove, no bat. His overall, he could be all the way down to the 30s. Benjamin, I did have him scattered. I did have him written down just in case. He's gone. He's more just speed and defense. Wooten, I didn't have down. Yeah, we have a few starting pitchers left. Chase Hugh. So while they're going through, so we still have Dell. He's got the best velocity. Even his changeup is 90 miles an hour. So he's got the, the best upside. This guy also has great velocity. But he only has three pitches. So we'd have to give him another pitch. Watts, his per nines are bad. All these guys have issues with per nines. And all the rest of the closers went. Look at all these relief pitchers. <clears throat> so, I have a couple of hitters that I'm looking at. If they can slide, um, I would take them. <clears throat> He's not one of them. Bliss I wrote down just in case because his, uh, his, his potential could be good. You don't scout him. Well, there goes one of the outfielders. I was hoping he would be a low B in the low 70s, but he's gone. <coughs> Montenegro we didn't have. Didn't have him. Let's look. Where's our hitters? We got Josh Rodriguez. Who could be, he's probably a C potential in the high 60s. His catcher could be C potential in the 50s. All right, so Josh Rodriguez is there. We could think about it. I have a catcher on there still. Yeah, bots. He's an option too. All these relief pitchers. All right, two two guys go, and then it's us. So we're gonna have our 
pick of a bunch of pitchers and then a catcher and an outfielder that really aren't great overall. But I don't know if they'd be there next round. Jameson's there, so it's our turn. All right. So this guy has the most... He's got the most upside potential and in initial overall. This guy's not rated. He's got great defense. He can hit. Not a ton of power. Oh. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we're going to take Dell. Yeah, that's what I was leaning towards anyway. I think we're going to take Dell. I was looking to see what we would do next. <clears throat> Got Dell. Where do we pick again? 104. Pick at 104. <coughs> Esteban Doe. So the, the, the outfielder and the catcher are still out there and i think there was there was another i wrote down another outfielder it was this guy because we we ha we got him on the board we discovered this dude but we didn't have time to scout him so we'll put him in the draft queue so don't forget i wrote his name down but i forgot when we put the list together Schroeder, I think I hit Schroeder. No. Yep. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. So we've got a closer and two starting pitchers right now. At this point, he's overrated. At this point, uh, it wouldn't be a reach to go after one of these hitters, but. <clears throat> Depends on what's there pitching wise. Cut Dell and Crespo. Ludwig. This guy's not too bad. I can't. I don't have enough time to scout everybody. It'd be nice to see what he is. Yeah, and this guy can't feel for shit though. <clears throat> <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Yeah, well, I'm happy that we got the closer. That makes me most happy because um, we have another bullpen arm. There goes another guy off my list. Um, um, it's hard to get closers in this game unless you're a bad team and you snag them right at the top of the, the after that first round. So Rosenberg is overrated. Anytime their overall, their highest overall is higher than their potential, they're, don't waste your time. This dude can throw. I just didn't have time to scout all these guys. All right. <clears throat> the Chris Cutliff dude that is lefty, that the rookie that's in a row, he was our first draft pick ever. <coughs> The A's snagged the best pitcher in that draft two picks before us, or we would have an absolute stud. Here. I was hoping he would make it through, but he's probably going to be in the 50s with his overall, so. Yeah. Well, there goes the outfielder we were looking at. So, looks like if we want a hitter, we're going to have to take the catcher or that other 
non-rated outfielder, and I'll save him for later. I'm not going to take a guy we haven't even scouted. <laughs> right? This guy we scouted, he's nothing special. He's got good defense. Who knows where he is? So I'm not 100% sold. There's another guy that could have been good, but we didn't. We just didn't. We ran out of time. We don't. You can't scout every fucking hitter. I wish we could start scouting. There's another guy off my list. We could, we could start scouting earlier. We need to get more guys scouted. Ken Leone was on my list. He was going to be in the 50s overall, so I wasn't impressed with him. Damon Hearn. There goes the catcher, so that takes him off the list. So it looks like the only hitter we have is going to be that non-rated dude, so we'll wait on him. So we're definitely taking a starting pitcher. And he could go before we, you know, he could go anywhere in here, too. Somebody else found him. Luke Chick, what a name. So many relievers. They had to do something with the relievers. There's too many of them. Most relievers used to be a starting pitcher. They got moved to the bullpen. You very rarely have a relief pitcher get drafted. So, what I do is anybody that's below 70 on their stamina, I automatically make him a reliever. <clears throat> I need to go through some of the rosters because some pitch starting pitchers that have 77 stamina are listed as relievers. You just make them a starting pitcher and they go up like 12 points overall. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> Rodrigo Perez had him down, right? That knocks him off the list. So we don't have much time. Yeah, this guy, his walks per nine are terrible. None of these guys are great. He's got the highest overall chance. He's going to need another pitch. I'm going to take Moranville. <clears throat> Not somebody I had high on the list, but he's the highest of what's out there. All right. Our list is getting smaller by the minute. We have four guys on the list. We have four guys on our list. <laughs> <coughs> So, four guys and three picks. See how many of them get to us. We do have some NR guys, and, you know, right? Not rated, not rated, not rated, not rated. Did that outfielder go? There he is. He's on the all list. Curtis Reigns. We could add him just in case. He's overrated. Wiseman. He's got power. Somebody just take him. He could be a total crapshoot. Oh, Farrell. We'll add Mascara. Man, we, did we put Rudy in the list? Reigns. We added Reigns and he got drafted.
Every time they make a pick, it messes me up. Let's do it this way. No, absolutely no power. This guy's overrated. All right. <clears throat> Some of the guys we added to the list got drafted. Wiseman, Corona. <clears throat> Robert, Robert, there you go. <clears throat> Parents were uh, out of ideas at the time. There goes Mascara. So I was adding all these players, and then, bam, they start going. All right, what do we have? So Watts, dude can throw. He throw hard. So and he's from Missouri. So he's better than Mateo. So if, I'm thinking Watts. If Watts gets to us, <clears throat> we'll take Watts. And then uh, the last pick, we'll just figure it out. There goes Ferreira. All right, three more picks. Leave Watts alone. Then go with Bill Forte. <coughs> there goes Jaeger. Not sold on him. All right, we're taking Watts. I did have him on my list. We got one more pick. If this dude is there with our pick, I'll take him. So you at least get one hitter. If he's not, we'll see what's available. Oh, we have two picks left, right? Two picks left. All right. Thought we had one. Thought we had one. We had two. Still, I think I'd rather have Chavez over Mateo. So I think we take Chavez and then we see if Cabrera's there with the last pick. And if he's gone, we'll figure it out. <laughs> so... We run out of guys we'll just go through the list but <clears throat> actually i can probably just go through the list right now
There's only two starting pitchers left. Really? <laughs> okay. There's only two starting pitchers left in the draft. All right. Well, this should be interesting. <laughs> Will we get either of these guys? Wow. These last two picks might be interesting. Too bad we can't trade picks. I would just trade these two away like it would in the NFL. I would just ship them off for earlier picks next year. Do that old Madden trade. Trade a seventh rounder for next year's fifth. <clears throat> These guys all suck. Look at that. They're terrible. Irvine wouldn't be too bad. Is there really no pitchers left on the board? Everybody else is out of starting pitchers but us? <laughs> Not thrilled with Mateo. All there are left are relief pitchers. So, <coughs> All right, cross your fingers that those two guys make it. I know they're both NR, so we might be the only team that found those guys. Where are they from? Dominican and Dominican. All right. And Venezuela. So our international scouts doing work at the end of the draft. This guy's from California. <clears throat> Three more picks. There goes a the center fielder. I think we, I don't think anybody else has these guys on the board, so that might work out great. They're all three not rated. Robert Caballero. Robert the Cowboy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go on that. We're not even going to, is it the right guy? Yeah. We're not even going to wait. Well, at least he made it through. So Cabrera first, Mateo second, Rivera. He's not scouted. Well, there goes Rivera, so we don't have to worry about taking him. All right. So these are both not rated, and we'll see. I'm just going to skip. <clears throat> <clears throat> there we go. We got our choice. I'm taking the outfielder. We have plenty of pitchers. Hope he's good. Hope he's good. Just average. Doesn't have to be great. I mean, he doesn't have to come in on the high end. He, he, he doesn't have to come in as, you know, 85 potential. Just, just be average. All right. Last pick of the draft. All right. So, Drew Ludwig, first round pick. Armando Crespo. Our second first round pick. So we got him for Painter winning Rookie of the Year. Dell is our regular second round pick. Moranville, I'm probably going to change his name. Um, for third. Reggie, Reggie Watts was fourth. Sam Chavez was fifth. Alfredo Cabrera. That's it. All right. That's our draft. Hey, we got a, got a stud closer off the rip. So as long as his clutch, his pitching clutch isn't terrible, I'll be happy with that. All right. Tink. This is your one of your last chances here. What can you do? Mets. Yeah, no. We got plenty of lefties. Don't need don't need a lefty. And we got the win, but what did Tink do? Edmund, Naylor, and Sejazi with home runs. 
Tank got beat up. Hold on one second. <clears throat> Three guys with 100 hits. We almost have six guys with 100 hits. 32 and 86. Jordan Walker's up to 291. All right. So this pitching staff is just driving me insane. He's out till sometime in mid August or September. <clears throat> See, Painter had a great year last year, and he's just not doing it this year. Cutliff, 90 hits in 79 innings, and he's got 86 hits per nine, so I don't understand. He's not giving up home runs. Tink is giving up hits and home runs. All right, boys, give me feedback. Should I wait until the trade deadline or should I just go make my trades right now? <clears throat> because that list is out of the way. I have a list of trades right here. These are the teams that are rebuilding. Oakland, Boston, Toronto, the White Sox, the Mets, the Giants, the Cubs, Washington, San Diego, and Colorado. Um, do you guys want to know who I have in mind or do you want me to wait and just make the trade and, and you figure it out <laughs> because there are six trades we start trading there's going to be six trades that we make um, three of them are just trading minor league players and moving guys in different positions we're just resorting re our team uh, we're moving out some starting pitchers that are getting topped out and they don't have room for them and we'll we'll ship them off somewhere else. Um, two starting pitchers are both free agents at the end of the year. I have a closer in mind who's a free agent at the end of the year. Um, and we also have Casey Mize just sitting out here, but he doesn't look any better than the other guys. He's been here the entire season. He's regressing because he's not being used. <clears throat> um, right, let's look at the all-star voting. No starting pitchers. Oh, shocker. Matt Sui. See, I don't think he's going to make it, though. Closer didn't get it. Contreras was third. Naylor was second, so he should be on the team. Gorman is starting. <clears throat> Arnado was fourth. Mason's way down here, although he's doing well. Jordan Walker is going to make it in left field, even though he's been dh in most of the year. Donovan's way down here. Tommy's down here. Yeah. So, looks like we have Walker. Walker, Gorman, and Naylor made the team so all right home run derby in washington it is nolan gorman all right we're gonna play this look at all those guys jazz doesn't belong but the rest of those guys <laughs> gorman leads the majors in home runs all right here we go I hate these all-star uniforms. They need to go back to wearing their regular team uniforms. They're completely stupid. <laughs> well, we're going to face Jazz. It shouldn't be a problem. And he goes first. All right, he hit 15 home runs. 
I should be able to do this before we even get to a minute left. Let's see what he can do. There's one. There's two. That gets him his extra 30 seconds. An oppo on that one. Another oppo. Three in a row, oppo. That's a pop fly home run. Got power to all fields. This will save energy for later. All right, this is the advance. <clears throat> that was pretty easy. Didn't use a lot of energy either. All right, we're facing Corey Seager. Pete Alonzo knocked out Otani. So it's Judge and Alonzo, Seeger and Gorman. So we got two lefties on this side and two righties on that side. All right. Now the challenger in this semifinal matchup. No lower. Gorman. See you later. All the way to the upper deck. And that one goes into the second deck. Ooh, just get my hands in on that one. There we go. We knocked out Corey Seager. <laughs> and we're going to face Aaron Judge. All right, boys. We need 21 to beat Judge. Come on, give me a good pitch. God damn it.
Not going to do it. Locked. Finished one short. God damn it. That's all right. <clears throat> Dude was not giving me any pitches to hit at the uh, last there. That's okay. We did well. Don't care about the All-Star game. We'll sim it. And National League won. So good. If we get to the World Series, we have home field advantage. <clears throat> Reds. <coughs> yeah, I have no interest in Will Benson and Sam Mole. No. Still can't sign. All right. Painter. Cutliff. Valdez. <clears throat> We could shift everybody. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That would give them two more starts before the end of the month. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm looking at how the season ends, so we're going to adjust our rotation. Yeah, this is the guy that would basically take over for Arenado. I'd play him at second <clears throat> and move Gorman to third. You want to see what happens to Gorman if I change his position? Watch this. He's an 89 overall right now. If I move him to third... He jumps to a 91. <laughs> so we leave him a second baseman, and then we sign him to a contract, and then we move him to third. So his overall goes up, but we don't have to pay for it. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Valdez. Suarez. Let's, uh, let's actually play a lock on a hitter. And <laughs> Mason win. We had a walk-off home run with him last time. <clears throat> they have Nolan Jones at DH. I'm telling you what, Stephen Kwan is high on my list for free agents if he uh, doesn't get re-signed. Everybody, glad you're with us. Interleague baseball on MLB the show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals. By left field or center. All right, just about ready for baseball. And our pitcher tonight, Ranger Suarez. Wind is blown out. Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 <laughs> against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. Two down, nobody on. That one missed. 
Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, outside. just trying to straighten up a little bit so he doesn't Patience. have as much outside plate coverage. A wide kick to pitch. And ah, there, it was there, but we were slightly Wilson underneath. Sizing this one up. Makes the catch. And that is that. We played an inning and a half. Still in Carlson. Once they traded for Nolan Jones, I moved him to center field. So they wouldn't trade him off because he's better than everybody else they have in center field. All right, now we're losing four to nothing. Ah, goddamn changeups. I'm giving draft pick grades across the bottom. All right, if you see our guy at 28, let me know. Here we go. Base hit. And that's a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Jordan Walker getting ready to hit. Grounded out his first time. Just missed. They've got a potent lineup. It's getting close. They had Kang. We were interested in Kang. He's a B plus. They're right at the top of the list. I wonder if that's actually tied to their uh, potential. Keep it in here. Keep it in the infield right now. And the 1 0. Run around the goal. Pitch inside. There we go. Stolen base. That's a stolen base. Here's what I think. At 27. We're at 28. So the next one through, it'll give us our, our grade. Come on, give it to us. Ludwig. A. A minus. They gave us an A minus for our pick. All right, well, we don't know what he is, but that's good. <laughs> I'll take that. Going to show us the other guy and pick 31? No. All right. <clears throat> Says we got an A- minus player. All right. Well, we'll have to see what that translates to in real numbers. <clears throat> I haven't seen that before. He's doing a nice job of so. keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind it with another ground ball. Good execution. Back to the leadoff spot for St. Louis Hold up. If that goes through, I'm gone. I'm going home. Yeah, expect it. Gotta love that. Says we uh, got an A minus guy with our first round pick late in the first round to see what our other guy at 31 was. Oh, shit. Now we can't hit. And we're down six to nothing. Oof. Way up front. That was roped foul. 104 miles an hour. And here comes. Just got a piece of that. Remember, Casey Mize is is uh, still a free agent, so that's still an option. And now the lefty. Also, I wonder if I could sign him and stick him in the minors. Ah, good pitch. Oh, he scored three runs. Ringifo with a home run. <laughs> and get on base. And the tying run on deck. Let's go. Get off the wall. Get off the wall. What a catch. That's Quan. That's the dude I was thinking about getting to play outfield. We got him. It's, we have Newt Barr and Donovan, so we have to decide what we want to do. And those guys are both 30 years old, so we'll, we'll see. We'll deal with the offseason in the offseason. Win and Naylor with steals. Valdez. One earned run. Mason Miller did not pitch well. <clears throat> K 
Cano is still injured. All right, now we can finally sign. All right. Crespo doesn't sign. Ludwig signs. Moranville signs. Nope. Reggie signs. <clears throat> Just sim that. Oh, no, no. That's going to fuck up a trade. Mm -hmm. I can still do the trade. I can still do the trade. Mm. Rewrote this trade. So I'm going to have to dig it out of my trash to figure out what the original trade was. Hmm. Damn, damn, damn. Well, we just lost our closer for two to three months. And we get the win. Dorm in another home run. Okay. All right, I'm gonna make the closer trade right now. Let's see what I can do here. Here's our new closer right there. We'll give him a 21 year old center fielder that we got in the Helsley trade. He's not doing anything. And this 18 year old 62 overall B potential with low strikeouts and walks per nine. He's pitching well in double A, just. Nothing spectacular. And we get Camilo Duvall. Who do they got in center field? I mean, Duvall's going to be a free agent. What was the other trades? Oh, it's... that originally I was going to give them Jordan Romano in this trade but now the Romano's hurt it's going to cost me a center fielder All right, trigger pulled. Welcome to the team, Camilo Duvall. It's having a tough year too, but we'll deal with it. Um... It's just 83 clutch. All right. Um, all 
All right. Before these guys all get injured, we're going to make three more trades. And they're all minor league players. <clears throat> Cooper Jerpy is going to go to the Padres for Philip Kyler, who I'm going to move to a closer because he has 62 clutch. And this power hitting first baseman that does not much else. And uh, Jerpy will step in here because Woodruff, Musgrove, they got some. Musgrove will go away. Jerpy will come in. So, done deal. <clears throat> That's done. That's done. All right. Uh, I just scrolled my own screen. Let's do the next one. This is with the Braves. Since I just picked up their first baseman. I already pre-scouted these, so I know they work. Got that done. And this one will set up another trade in a minute. This guy was from our first draft, and he's about maxed out. He's pitching well. He's doing well. He just didn't get his potential upgraded. But we're going to ship him off to a team that could use more pitching. <clears throat> we got a bunch of guys in the last year of deals. These two guys can be free agents. Yeah. And this is going to buy us a catcher and a young reliever. And we'll take that. So that leaves us the last two trades. I already know what it's going to cost us to get them. That will clear us some roster space for these incoming starting pitchers. Um, this series against the Brewers, I'm going to have to play one of these games so we don't get swept. All right, which pitcher do you guys want me to pitch with? Last year's Rookie of the Year or the uh, two rookies here? <clears throat> We've uh, player locked in each one of them. I think I've done these two guys twice each and only painter only once, but. Tink. Okay, I'll do Tink. That's a day game. All right. Straight Sim, let's go. And we lost. Give up four home runs. God, Mason Miller. Crespo is signed. Chavez still hasn't signed. Okay. Sonny Gray. Let's play a lock in one of the hitters. <clears throat> and we'll do uh, Donovan. Man, that's three pitching injuries in two months. They're not little injuries either. So one out, nobody on. Brendan I like that it's cloudy because uh, you get sunshine off that backdrop. It's damn near impossible to hit. And this is one of the best backdrops to hit off of when they have the uh, roof closed. <clears throat> Base is empty. There we go. Get down. Find the ball. Find the ball. Find the ball. Now he'll 
will turn for second. And he'll pull into second safely. <coughs> as soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. He really did his job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Headed for the plate. The throw in. There we go. One nothing lead. That'll work. Way to go, Josh. And then we gave up a three run homer. Goddamn Cutliff. One for one with a double and a run score. On the ground, right side. Into the. He's got a single and a double. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it. Come on, Naylor. You're up again. Clutch <clears throat> situation kicking in. Let's go. Fucking double play. Yeah, Gorman with a home run. Gets his back. It's a two-run game. And he's got three hits. Way to go, Donnie. It's another RBI chance for Naylor. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. can't believe we lost our fucking closer. I was going to trade him away. Thought that was going to drop. All right, Nolan. Let's go. Park this bitch. Nope. You can park your ass on the bench. Yeah, well, you can't bench the closer. <laughs> can't bench the closer. But, um, yeah, the, the next group of guys that I would trade off are uh, one's on the major league level and the other three are in the minors. So, we'll know. Once we get through this series... It's a one-run game here. We get through this series, we'll know uh, we're gonna we're gonna trade for one of them for sure. <clears throat> oh, blooped it in. Safe. Ah. Contreras is so damn slow. Tie game. Two on. Two out in the eighth. Let's go. He's got four hits. We got 16 hits. Let's go. We need to score more than four runs with 16 hits. Got under that pitch. Hey, come on, bullpen. Hold it. And Naylor with a solo homer, and we win. All right. Four hits for Edmund, four hits for Donovan. Remember, Edmund was hitting like 217 last stream, so he's up. Newt Bar's hitting 350. My God. Gorman's got 34 home runs. Naylor's got 24. Gorman gets a little bit hot. We can He could end up with 100 ribs before we're through with July. <laughs> All right, Tink and Jameson, let's go in here and save.
slide Newt Bar up one spot. Let's see if he can get some clutch RBIs too. Ready to go now. Tommy Edmund at the plate. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Inside almost got it. Hmm. Tardy. That was Tardy. Tommy has seven home runs. He had like 26 last year. Get through, get through, get through, get through, get through, get through. Dig. Bullshit. Bullshit. Can't challenge. Lots of traffic on the bases, but they left a ton of runners on base. Could cash in their chances, Chris. They had plenty of chances. There's nobody to blame it on but themselves. Now he's back up to uh, hitting 300. In those situations, you have to figure out what's your plan going to be. Maybe watch some tape from the last game. Make the adjustments. So if you get those opportunities in this one, you've got a much better chance of scoring some runs. Out to short. It finds its way through for a hit. He's like a cheap so Luis Arise with better uh, better power, better defense, position flexibility. Come on, Josh. Nice job Sports Gamers Online, thanks ball. for the raid, man. Welcome in. Oh. Welcome, welcome. We just wrapped up the draft in the uh, Home Run Derby and All-Star Game, so we're down the stretch now. Best record in the National League. Playing NCAA, nice. Getting your last games in before the new game comes out, I assume. I am done playing NCAA 14 on camera. I have one game left in the NWO. I think it's against Alabama in the bowl game. I'll be officially done playing that game. Feeling good? Is that out of here? Oh, up against the wall. He makes a great catch. I'm doing good. How are you? We are uh, trying to survive some shitty pitching in the middle months of this season. We lost Walker Bueller for two to three months. We lost our closer for two to three months. We lost another setup guy for one to two months. Yep. Yep. That game, I've been playing that game forever. I uh, I played 11, 12, 13, and 14, so never expected to play 14 as long as I did, but, you know, Ed O'Bannon kind of screwed us all. <laughs> all right, Tink, let's go. He has such an easy motion. There's really no hitch in it. Come on, Donnie, get there. Yeah. I know. Yeah, we all thought we were going to play 14 until we died, and some people did. Woo! Like that pitch, I'll throw it again. No. That swing right there tells me he's seen the ball oh. pretty well. I as much as we love that game, I still had issues with that game. That's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Christian. That's why I have this uh emote. Next offer is in for a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Yeah, I wish, I wish, even in this game, CPU does stuff that you as a user can't do. And uh, I wish it was equal. I wish we could do all the things the computer could do. I want the gameplay on the new one, though. 
There we go. Gameplay is the most important thing. I love all the stuff they're doing in Dynasty, but if it plays like ass, I'm just going to have to sim all of my games on camera. Here we go. Surprised that didn't get by him. I'm on Lars hitting 350. Does not have enough ABs to qualify for the title, though. <coughs> Jammed him. Yeah, he's playing right field. That dude can cover some ground. That's two balls he got to. Gotta be more patient. Oh, come on, man. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's gonna be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Now, Mason Wynn. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. This one's got a chance. Off the wall. That's gonna score a run. There we go, Mason. That was a clutch hit. Boom. There it is, boys. There it is. Always feels good when you come through and get your team. Woo! Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it. All right, Yvonne. This is the guy I'm trading away. Mostly because we're out of options, and uh, Henry Davis is better. We got another year to go on Wilson Contreras. Up the middle, Ortiz. And he beat it out. There we go. All right. Minute at the corners. Come on, Tommy, two bags. Ah. Rolled over. Fucking terrible. All right, we got the lead. That's good. Cards on the board with this double. It's an early bottom of the second. Now the Brewers cleanup hitter, Willie Adamas. What a play by Gorman! My goodness! Oh. Wow! Oh yeah! That was a rocket. under it he makes the grab two up two down fell off to a great start he's really cruising out there on the mound he's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches that could set him up to go deep into this game that one 95 to finish him off Three all right out of the third inning the two Yo, Donnie. We've gotten a lot of hits with you today. Just missed. Donovan, a former Gold Glove winner, batting second in today's lineup, and he was born in Germany. Stay fair. Stay fair. Ah. A piece of that. It should just cut in and just wouldn't stop. Stay fair, stay fair. A sixth hit using him today. Come on, Josh. Two over 300 as well. Man, that was a great trade we made with Carlson and Goldschmidt going to Cleveland. And we get Naylor, Bybee, and Sandlin. Swung over that pitch. <clears throat> First off 
Suffering is fouled off. Gorman finished one home run behind Judge for the home run derby. And a, curve is down in and a rough third round. Got a late, late start on hitting home runs and couldn't make up the ground. ground Get through. There we go. Tomahawk that pitch into right field. And that extends the inning. And next is the All right, Jay Walk, your turn. Big fly. Let's go. Nope. Out to short, Too damn impatient. and hits a fly ball center field Edmund puts it away from the out and there's one down next for Milwaukee Joey Ortiz right down to shoot strike one that one to first and he takes it himself for the out here's the rookie third baseman and that's a little bit high and that's ball one the Brewers trailing by a run here in the third and final game of the series. Next offering upstairs. Got him. They struck out the last guy of each of the innings, each of the three innings. There we go. They still trail one nothing. <clears throat> Back here in Milwaukee, new inning getting started. Now it's the right fielder, Lars Newtbar. That's outside. Ball ball. Come on, Lars. And another ball. When you get ahead in the count, there's no. We uh, have a good shot at everybody in the lineup hitting 20 home runs again. Down. Dude can cover some ground. Not swinging. Still not swinging. Ooh, the Reds got Stone Garrett from the Nationals. Not sure why, because they're buried in the division. Well, maybe they're in the wild card race. Braves are getting shit pushed in by the Guardians. First trade we make, we're going to give this guy to a team that will let him start and play every day. Yeah, that dude is just covering everything. One hit is all they get. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom four. And now the center fielder, Jackson Chorio. No ball. One strike. That one, one not one close. Strike. And the count even one and one. In the air, out towards left center. Donovan racing over to make the catch. And here is Sal Freeland. That misses the zone, and it's one to know. 
right through there for a strike. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That catches the top part of the zone. It's a ball in two strikes. There we go. Sit down. Sit your ass down. That was close. Right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. <clears throat> Back here at American Family Field. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Tommy Edmund. Yeah. Tapped at the play, but it's a foul ball. You know, these oh, Cardinals... Get the ball up and over the middle. ...ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. They have yet to strike out... Yeah, stay away from this guy. You need to hit the ball to left field. That's a great this guy's covering everything. Right First offering is fouled off. One out, base is empty. Going two now. On the ground, right side. Ortiz. Fires over to first. Two gone now. The first base. Two outs, base is empty. And here is Josh Naylor. There's a double. Come on, Nolan. Big fly right here. Get one. strategy of winning a ball game when you can make that pitcher work a little more expose himself by throwing pitches that could be the that one drilled left field that's a hit and a run it's gonna be two to nothing picks himself up in rbi nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line you know hitters they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game but right there it did and he did it perfectly Ah. Weak ass contact. All right. Expand that lead. That's good. That's good. Nolan doing the normal stuff. All right, Tink. These Brewers just aren't putting together very many good at bats in this one. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt, but it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. Gorman throws out a first, and a quick out number one. Digging in, Nelson Velasquez. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at-bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. One down, base is empty. On the ground, right side. Naylor takes it himself, and that quickly, two away. Now, here is Owen Miller. That clips the zone, and it's 0-1. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's 15 up and 15 down. Nobody left for Milwaukee. They trail things here. 2-0. So the Brewers bring out a new pitcher from the pen. Trevor McGill. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. Ah, and here's the glare. It's going to be hard to hit the rest of the game. Next offering in there for a strike. Slider right there. Movement in the bullpen. Taylor Clark appears to be getting loose. God damn, he throws hard. Punch out and hits 101. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Nolan Arenado. First pitch doesn't find the zone. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, you got to get everything done and ready, Jimmy. I expected it to download like on Friday. All right. Let's go, boys. Bottom of the six. Here's the Brewers catcher now. Jefferson Carroll. Way high there. And that's ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, a head 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Okay. And a foul ball, he stays alive. In danger of losing the perfect game here. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. No, oh, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in. Yeah. Wins. It's all right. So a lead off walk. Tough at bat. But he earned that walk after a long at bat. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. With the tying run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Rips one to right. Down the line. And it's foul. And he'll two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like. Fuck. Lost the perfect game and a no hitter. All of a sudden, they get uh, very selective at the plate. Give me the fucking ball. Come on, now they're going to hit it everywhere where we can't feel it. This is the shit that I hate about this game. Just a slow, weak grounder. A third baseman can't, gold glove third baseman can't move to get the ball. I go over to get the ball, it rolls right by our left fielder. Give me the fucking ball and quit putting your glove at me. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Under it. Makes the grab. Fucking ridiculous. We cruised for 15 batters and then... Fuck off. And he deals. It's inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there. Quit pointing your glove at me and throw me the fucking ball. Outside plate cover. And another ball. Go ahead, run it second. Here in the rubber match of this three game series. Looks like you got a little excited on that fastball. You've got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. And a swing and a miss. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the changeup and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, no way you Stop doing that. I hate that animation. If I was a pitcher, I would tell the catcher, if you point your glove at me one more fucking time, I'm going to drill you.
perfect game and it goes to shit because the fucking game garbage. Glare is supposed to make it harder for them to hit, not easier. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel Buck. like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Chorio makes the grab for the second out. Donovan, the next to hit, takes ball one. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that'll do it. Back here in Milwaukee, bottom of the seventh. And the batter will be the shortstop, Willie Adamas. Ground ball to Bill. All right, he's done. The leadoff single and the go ahead run is aboard. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing. What the fuck was that play? Just step on the bag. I'm pushing the button so he runs to the bag. Are you kidding me? Just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. He was definitely late on that pitch, but he didn't get beat. Got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first baseline for the knock. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. So two in scoring position with one out. Here's the catcher, Jefferson Carey. Gold opportunity right here. Fuck this game. Infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. And there's the strike. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. <clears throat> the pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Yeah, that skips into there. With the go-ahead run at third, near the bottom of the seventh. The pitch. Fly ball down the line. Come on! God damn this fucking game! Why are you giving me the, 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 the icon for me to... Catch the ball and th <clears throat> fuck. Trying not to punch a hole in the wall because I don't want to have to patch it. Next to the Brewers, Joey Ortiz. First off, bring it just misses. We had a perfect game going, and now we can't get anybody out. This is fucking ridiculous. Next pitch is outside. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Another fucking run. Chase that time. 
got it by him for the K. So I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity, and it is hard to catch up to. Next offering is in for a strike. And ball one. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. The hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. And puts the squeeze on that one. That is the inning. So they get three. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Jose LeClaire. Now, definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. And the batter now, Josh Naylor. That one missed. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. On the ground to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Now up the Cardinals number four hitter, Nolan Gorman. First pitch misses. LeClerc, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a cutter, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. All right, Chris, when you talk about great logos, the Milwaukee Brewers, the M and the B that form a glove, not everyone even realizes that it's an M and a B with that glove. They started using it in 1978 and have been using it a lot more recently. It's a great logo, Chris. Yeah, Boog, I remember as a kid, my brother had that ball cap, and I would just kind of borrow it. Some would say steal it, but it was just such a cool-looking logo. I had no idea until years later that that's what was hidden on the inside of it, that M and that B, but very, very cool. So now here's the DH, Jordan Walker. And a foul ball. If you're playing right now, tweet out, I was this many days old when I found out the Brewers glove logo is an M and a B. Hashtag MLB the show. Because I guarantee you there are people playing right now that had no idea there was an M and a B in that logo. <laughs> That's a great point. Lars Nukbar. Next up for the Cardinals. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready for the... The left-hander on now, now number 11. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score... Oh, now we can field when it doesn't fucking matter. Fucking ridiculous. Don't tell me they don't have comeback code programmed into this bullshit. Oh my god. Just a great job of concentration there as he leaves the ground to go airborne to make a diving catch. That's a tough play, but he got the job done. He's two outs away. And up next for St. Louis, Mason Wynn. That misses. And that is ball one. Pyams. It is seventh season. 33 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Straighten him up a little bit. That misses the zone, and it's 3 0. And he walked him on four pitches. Maybe a little loss of focus on the map. right there pretty much gifted at first base with a quick free pass 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. No, and that's the off ball. the inside edge. Two and one. Here goes the runner. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. To second and he's out. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? So it's their last chance in this one. Tommy Edmund will hit. This is very likely the last chance he gets to keep his hitting streak alive. And it's fouled away. And the righty deals. Popped up. Under it. This game is garbage. Flat out fucking garbage. We had a perfect game and then we couldn't get anybody out for two innings. These players just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series, you got another team coming in. I'm making both trades right now. Fuck this bullshit. Really? That trade went through before. Wow. Okay. That trade went through. I had it written down. Cordova and Castillo for Senga. All right. So we get Alec Manoa. And we are going to call up Henry Davis. That's why we traded for this catcher right here. And um, Tink is going to Triple A.
Let's try it again at the deadline. Romper's killing me. Fucking killing me. Fucking Duvall. Wow. Burleson and Henry Davis would get us Harry Ford. <laughs> What's up, Ghost? Welcome in. All right, we get a two to one win. Cutliff pitches much better, doesn't get the win, but. All right, I'm gonna play a lock with Alex Manoa. We're just gonna pitch with him, okay? His debut at the Cardinals. I don't know why it won't let us make that trade anymore. I had it written down. Kodai Singa for Julio Cordova and Michael Castillo. It went through before I went live. Whatever. Whatever. I'm going to fix that glove, too. Our starting pitcher in this one, Alec Manoa. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout for any type of guy. 
Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, the man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Win makes the yes, yeah, back to I don't know. No, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back I am so the pissed off at that last game. Saying, hey, where are you at, I am off, extremely pissed off. Nice catch right there. Nuke bar makes the grab on the like run. trying not to break shit pissed off. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Brandon Mitch misses. When I was younger and I worked in restaurants as a cook. And another ball. I worked at this one restaurant. And I would go in the bathroom and I would get really pissed off and I would punch a hole in the fucking door. And I punched so many holes in this door <laughs> that instead of replacing the door, they just put a thick piece of plywood over the holes so I couldn't punch any more holes in there. So I just punched the wall in the fucking walk-in cooler instead. Which is metal. That was real smart. Yeah. So here's the cleanup hitter, Brent Rooker. Fastball for a strike. I have a temper. I have a very big temper. Edge of the zone for a strike. And a count I also have a very big sense of fairness. <gasps> Sit your fucking ass down. Slider got Back here at Bush Stadium. Second inning, set to go. And stepping in for New York, Francisco Alvarez. And that one fouled off. Hey, and a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. We'll take a look at the sequence on that three-pitch strikeout. Let it off with a couple of fastballs up in the zone, kind of challenging him to catch up. And that really opened up the bottom part of the strike zone because as a hitter, you're still thinking he might climb the ladder on you even more. Pretty much didn't stand a chance on that good changeup. And down on strikes he goes. That's the second out. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. And that one pops you short. And that is that. Top half of the third inning. Here's the center fielder, Drew Gilbert. And that's in there at the knees. Gilbert getting the start in center 26 years old and he's been touching home plate quite a bit lately scoring eight runs over the last 10 games zips it to first leadoff man retired here in the third good slider inside right there batter fighting to get there just rolled over it got a ground ball Brett Beatty in the box with one away as he takes ball one and a big swing and a miss the Redbirds up by a run here in the second game of the series. That one blasted deep to right, way back there. And it is How does he hit an up and away fastball and pull it to right field? One, one. He's really seeing the ball well lately. Good things are going to happen when you're locked in like this. Lindor, Physics in this game do not make sense. You cannot pull an up and away fastball and hit it that far to right field. And he scored three runs. That's that line if he hit it to left field, I had no problem with it. He's not pulling that pitch. He would have do that, drive that pitch to left field, but he's not going to pull that fucking pitch on the outside upper part of the plate. Here in St. Louis, as we go to the top of the fourth, and stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. And there's one down. Now, here is Brent Rooker. Right side. And foul ball. Here comes the pitch. Missed with a changeup. And one and one. That clips the corner. Oh, great grab on the dive. To first. Nicely done for the out. 
We go on record and say right now, fucking Mr. Hurricane trades for Alec Manoa or Camilo Doval. That motherfucker watches my shit. Fuck off, dude. Run your own goddamn team. He's done at least three trades that I've done after I did them. It's like the dude that copies off your fucking homework and takes full credit for it. He traded for Aurelvis Martinez. Um, he traded for Mason Miller. And there was somebody else. It was another dude. Like, quit fucking copying my team, dude. First of all, you're fucking up my team, and then you're copying my fucking moves. Little bitch. Go back to playing shitty ass Madden. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. He takes it himself. And we're back. Here's the shortstop at the play. Francisco Lindor. Well, these Mets need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them. So they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. The shortstop takes the ball. Gets a piece and stays alive. Just off the outside part of the plate. Sit your ass down, Lindor. One gone here. Jeff McNeil stands in. And that's in for a strike. McNeil, multi-time all-star. 35 years old, usually a second baseman, but today he's starting at first. Foul ball still 0-2. Well, not too big of an adjustment. He's been on the same side of the field as the first baseman. Now just kind of moving over there and gets an opportunity to see what his range is to his right. There you go, Mason. Two quick outs to open the top of the six. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt. Bobbers to right field, way back, gone. He circles the bases. His 13th home run of the season, and just like that, they're out front. It's 2-1. Two, two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Naylor settles under it and makes the catch. Back here at Book. Stadium, top of inning number seven, and now here is Francisco Alvarez. Here's the swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A solo shot. It's 3-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on New pitcher on now, number 11. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. I'm done. We're going to sim out the rest of the month. I'm done. We will not stream the rest of the weekend. Done.
And we lose our triple-A first baseman for six months with a dislocated ankle. But we got the win on the major league level. Romber, a 10-hit shutout. Jesus Christ. All right, we got everybody signed. Fucking Bybee has 14 wins and we're in July. <laughs> we have 68 and 42. We have the best record in baseball. Does it feel like we have the best record in baseball? And we just keep getting our ass kicked. Our pitching is fucking horrible. Two out of three. Lost two out of three. Lost two out of three. One, two out of three. Split. Sweep Miami, lost two out of three. Three-game sweep of San Francisco, three out of four. It's all perception, right? I'm going to try this one more time. Wow. Would kill for fucking McClanahan.
All right, well, we took care of our left fielder and our right fielder, so that takes care of next year. So our outfield is set, our infield is set. What does Arenado want? 7.4 million. 8.4. Look at this. 18 million to get him in the green. Yeah, we'll let him go be a free agent. Got him signed. These guys are renewables. We're going to let Arenado go. Probably let Barlow go. So. It takes care of some of the off-season. We don't have to deal with that later. Extensions are signed. So, new bar's 11. Donovan's only 6. We're going to have to pay these two guys 25 to 30 mil. Great deadline is passed, and we lost three to two. Any yeah, painter pitch better? All right, let's send this game so we can look at our draft picks, and we'll call it a night. I'm I'm signing into small deals, like years wise. I don't want to give the player the option. We're fine. I'm saving money for. Uh, Mormon. Trevor, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. All right. Sim. And we win 7-2. to two. Arnado with a home run. Cutliff bounces back. Cutliff is actually playing well. Who got traded? Harrison Bader. Went to the Angels. AJ Puck went to the Tigers. No. Mariners, I'm sorry. Mariners got AJ Puck for a first base. Stone Garrett for three guys. Geloff went to the Diamondbacks for Tommy Troy. All right, here we go. The closer we drafted in the first round is a 77 with 89 potential. And pitching clutch of 65. We nailed that fucking pick. <laughs> Crespo, 67 overall. 83 potential. So he's a B potential. Dell, 56, but he's 89 potential. He's a long ways away. Moranville, 55 with 90 potential. Look at his per nines. My God. That's a trade piece right there. Watts was a 61 with 83. 
58 with 81, and the left fielder was a 61 with 73. Can't field where the shit has no power, but he can hit, and he can run. So we'll just let him cook in the minors. Let's see if there's anybody else. 77, 89. We got him late in the first. Calderon. He went, what, the third or so? 63 catcher. 90, I'm sorry, 87 potential. Like the Dodgers needed. And then they get a 58 outfielder with 93 potential. Jesus. And a 53 outfielder with 90 potential. Doug Olson, 76 with 93 potential. That guy's not bad. Take a while. His durability is 27, though. Buster Kelly told you he was the best pitcher in a draft. His pitching clutch and his control are going to kill him, though. 81 with 89 potential. Orioles did not sign their first round pick. 66 and 89. Yeah, Spectre, that was an A minus guy. The, the grade for the draft pick was an A minus. This was the outfielder I wanted to take, but he didn't get to us. Five foot seven, little guy. 75 with an 84 potential. So the Yankees get a good speed. Well, I wouldn't even say speed. Micah Bolden, there you go. He's got to work on his uh, vision, discipline, and clutch and his contact. But 71 with 93 potential. I like that. This was the other closer we thought about, right? Francesco Minoso. He's about the same. He just doesn't have the velocity. He didn't have the pitch mix. We would have taken him again. We would have taken this guy had he gotten to us. So... And then he got a 73 closer. Ooh, fuck. I don't know why I'm so full of yawns right now. Sorry. 59.86. Catcher. No power. Questionable durability. 66 with 91 potential. God, they fucked up their draft. There you go. He's a 75... With a 75 potential. So he's already at his max. <laughs> and he has a noodle arm. He needs to go to first base. It's terrible hits per night. <sighs> he's at first base when I said he only had power against uh, lefties. Vision, discipline, can't run. It's one dimensional, but he is he is ninety five potential, so the guy can develop. There's a second baseman, good hitter, can't field, great speed. Sixty six closer with ninety four potential. Sixty five with an eighty nine, just can't do much of anything other than run. He's a speed guy. He can field and he can steal bases, and that's about it. He's a reliever. 61 durability. I'm sorry. 61 stamina. That's a, that's a relief pitcher. <laughs> 75 overall. With 77 potential. Seventy eight overall, seventy eight potential. He is at his max. This guy might develop nicely, but he's twenty one. He's seventy five with a seventy nine potential. Seventy three with a seventy nine potential. So the Cubs, we have to change this dude because that's the guy that we drafted last year and they threw him back in the draft when we tried to sign him. 
So he's on the Cubs. We'll just change his first name. We'll leave it Cologne. We'll make it a cousin or some shit. We'll just change his name. You name him Dark Spectre. <laughs> Look at this guy. 75 overall, 62 potential. He's going to start regressing day one. <laughs> day one, he's going to start going down. That second baseman isn't too bad with his 98 potential. Yeah, and there's our class. We got that closer. Got to work on his control. And by the time he's 21, he'll be in the 80s. <laughs> Pardon me. I don't know why I'm so yawny. All right, the Reds. Look at the Brewers. They're 12 games back now. Wow, the Reds are making a charge. Let's look at the Reds. Green with Dolo, Castro. That's from the first draft. A bit louder. They didn't do anything there. They got Abreu as their closer. And Clay Holmes and Alexis Diaz. So they got a great bullpen. No catcher. Hmm. Okay. Three game lead on the Dodgers for the National League best record. And two and a half game lead on the Rangers. So we have a two and a half game lead on everybody for the best record in baseball. And our pitching is ass salad. Yeah, Casey Mize we could look at. He's down to a 77. I'd rather pitch fucking Tink Hens. I should have signed him in the offseason and stuck him in our minor leagues. We could throw him in the minors. Yeah, I don't want to give you more years. Nope. 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 Would having Ozuna be better than Alec Burleson? Way more power. I mean, a great pinch hitter off the bench, right? Especially for two point six million. He wants three. Three million dollars for Ozuna. Can't field worth a shit. Hey, Kershaw's out there. Corbin Carroll's hitting 380. Are you fucking kidding me? He's slugging 771. We have two months to go and he has 37 bombs. Wow.
I guess I can't complain too much because Gorman's got 36. <laughs> well, he does have 94 contact against lefties, 84 against righties, with 83 clutch, so it doesn't go down too much. How about Luis Camposano hitting 329? <laughs> the fuck look at that these three guys are killing all the majors because Seeger has 80 in the American League Albies is 82 Walker 82 and these guys are just running away with everything He's got a 1226 OPS. Good lord. Tanner Bybee has 14 wins. Christian Javier has 16 wins. <laughs> hey, Smith Shaver, trade him away. 49 games in relief. Hasn't gotten much better. Zach Jackson, really? With 62 clutch, he has 36 saves. I can understand Abreu with his 94 clutch. Who the fuck are half these guys? Tyler Malley with a 209. Should have traded for Nola. This is the guy I want. He's a free agent in the offseason. We can trade. We can trade away. What the fuck is his name? We can trade away Valdez. He's down to an 82. Yeah, I know. I tried to trade for them, and they wanted way too much. So, whatever. It'll cost us a second-round pick. It won't take our first one. And if they take our first one, I don't give a fuck. Oh, well. Whatever. We have 69 wins. There you go, Spectre. 69 wins. I don't have... Uh, I don't have FG 69. Nice. Um, oh, well. Thank you guys for hanging out. I was going to get Kodai Senga, and the game decided I should have done it when I started the stream. Should have made all these trades to start the stream and fuck the young guys, but we have the best record in baseball, and I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm not happy. I'm not happy, and we have the best record in baseball. So I'm going to tell you right now, if we don't win a World Series, I'm really going to be fucking pissed off. So... Especially if I don't win one before that baby back came. That's one. He's he's uh, he's in my craw. I'm gonna spit him out. Anyway, guys, we have eleven days until this football game comes out, and that fucking game better be Hall of Fame level on gameplay. So, if you didn't hear me say it before, the day it comes out and goes live, we will stream, I will 
pick a team. We will just do a sim only dynasty so that we can just get through the games and work on the recruiting and get through a whole season as quick as we can. And uh, we'll go through that, and try and figure stuff out. Once we uh, get to gameplay, then I will start my Mizzou Fran Dynasty. We'll play with Mizzou. But um, we're going to start out just simming because I want to get through the games as quick as possible just to do the recruiting. And I will play the gameplay off camera and learn how to play the new game off camera. Um, but we got to figure out this recruiting and the portal and all that shit. So... Did I see who just went live? Oh, Brusso went live. Yeah, we can raid Brusso. We can raid Brusso. It's NCAA, so it's not going to be uh, MLB. So you guys that don't like NCAA, if you want to take off, I don't I don't uh, fault you at all. But we'll go hit up Brusso. He does a defensive coordinator only. So he doesn't get to play offense. He has to win games with his defense. So he's at Western Michigan and he's he's in year 56 out of 60. So he wants to get his 60 done as quick as he can. And I think he just went live. So um, I'm going to start this raid. And when you guys are ready, we'll head on over to Brusso. And uh, I will catch you guys um, sometime next week for August and September in the playoffs. And uh, you guys have a good rest of the weekend. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and putting up with my uh, up and down mood. But fuck this game. And fuck Hurricane. And I'll see you guys over in Brusso's. Mm -hmm.